Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. So, well, first of all, hey, it's good to see everyone. Uh, but the big thing here we're doing today is talking about a new phone. That's right. Google has announced the Pixel 5a 5G, which going forward, we'll simply refer to as the Pixel 5a. Uh, but yeah, it's it's here. We've got one and uh, we, sh we should talk a little bit about it. So uh, here is our uh, Pixel 5a unboxing and first look. So what is it that you need to know about this phone? Well, obviously it's an A series phone, so it's gonna be affordable. Uh, obviously this one comes in black, has 5G, and again, it's not the Pixel 6. It feels a little bit like we're releasing this kind of to just fill a little space before we go nuts and go Pixel 6 where you know Google's gonna give us their first processor and anyway, new design and all of that stuff. This one, obviously from the box, still very much similar design to like this guy, this is a Pixel 5. I don't I don't actually have a 4A 5G around, so we're just gonna do a little bit of comparison with this guy, but. So anyways, uh, Pixel 5 is a $449 phone. The 5A 5G last year, I'm sorry, the 4A 5A, the 4A 5, geez, I can't say this, 4A 5G from last year was 499, I believe. So we got a $50 decrease in price. Uh, the situation here is it's launching in the U.S. and uh, U.S. and Japan, and it seems to be sort of limited. Although, again, I don't really understand like why we would need to push this everywhere since, you know, the Pixel Six really is coming in in, in a sh very short amount of time. So, uh, again, four forty nine Pixel Five A Five G pre order now launches August 26. You can be able to buy it at Google Fi, um, unlocked versions through the Google Store. It works on all of the US carriers. No 5G millimeter wave, but who cares? That's not anywhere. It does have 5G support though. Sub six, I should say, 5G on uh, on all of the major carriers and stuff like that. So it'll work. If you, uh, if you do wanna buy one, it will work. Um, so let's see, what is new about this phone? Well, let's power it on and talk a little bit. Oh, you wanna see what's in the box? Well, here's the phone while that's doing its thing in the box. Nothing special. Sim removal tool, as always. This tells you where your sim tray is and how to put that in. These just look like guides. Don't care. Uh, that is a USB C to USB A, uh, basically like a transfer tool. Plug that into your old phone or new phone or whatever. And then there's a USB C cable. Uh, C to C cable here that you will use to uh, help with that transfer process. And then this is a fast charger. This this phone does have 18 watt fast charging and this is an 18 watt USB-C fast charger. These are pretty standard. We've seen these with Pixel phones for um, quite some time. So anyway, kick that out of the way, leave the box there for fun. Um, so here's the phone. This is gonna be very familiar. Obviously running Android 11 now, it will run Android 12 here shortly once that launches probably in the next couple of weeks, I'd imagine if we stick to a past timeline. So three years of updates, um, and that includes OS updates and security. I guess I should say at a minimum, Google sort of hinting at maybe they'll expand that or maybe they've always said that. Um, so let's see, what else do we have for specs? Um, well, biggest display we've got uh, 6.34 inch OLED. It's 20 by nine, it's full HD, and it is not 90 Hertz. At least I don't believe so. Um, my spec list does not say 90 Hertz. If we get in here and there's a high refresh rate thing, we, we will correct that. Um, so the previous 4A 5G was 6.2 inch, so slightly bigger. Definitely feels like a bigger phone. Again, here is uh, my Pixel 5. So definitely much bigger than the Pixel 5. Okay, uh, 4680 milliamp hour battery in here, which is huge. The previous one had a 3800 milliamp hour battery, so a big jump in battery, but not necessarily a huge jump in size. So this thing with full HD and no 90 hertz, it might last for two days. We also have IP67 water and dust resistance. That is a first for the A series. So you've got some protection. You can get this thing wet and it should be fine. Six gig RAM, 128 gig storage. The Snapdragon 765G, which was in last year's, so same processor, same RAM and storage, Titan M security chip. Obviously, there's a fingerprint reader there, USB-C on the bottom, and then up top is that headphone jack, which we've seen in A-series devices, because remember, Google told us not that long ago that they're cheap phones for people maybe who don't want to spend a lot. 
just use those. And then people who spend a lot have Bluetooth. I, I have no idea. It's very, very weird. Um, stereo speakers, though. So we have stereo speakers, NFC. And again, that's sub 6 5G. As far as the camera goes, pretty similar to the uh, 4A 5G. We have a 12.2 megapixel main shooter, which is, you know, the one that Google's used forever, which they will finally be ditching, we believe, with uh, the Pixel 6. So F1.7 there, 77 degree field of view. And then we have a 16 megapixel ultra wide as well at f2.2 117 degree field of view and then up front there in the display you're not gonna be able to see that there it is um that is an eight megapixel selfie shooter so um let me just boot past this and we'll talk for just one more minute okay we made it past all that fun so uh welcome to your new pixel here's the pixel 5a uh pretty large phone actually now that i'm holding it like this it, and again uh, not to keep comparing it to the pixel five but this is like the perfect size phone in my opinion i mean it's the one i've been using for about a year now but there you go there's a good look at that anyway um so all we really wanted to do what was check out and just confirm confirm that there's no 90 hertz i really wish there was 90 hertz in this thing but you can see uh nope there's no there's no high refresh rate so um it is 60 hertz uh 450 bucks available right now um there's not really much else to talk about this is android 11 you've seen this i need to update some stuff and get going but uh what we will do is uh I'm going to fast forward in life and uh, I'll come back and join you in just a second and, you know, talk about my thoughts. Well, it, it has been seven days. I have been using the Pixel 5a 5G for a full seven days, uh, mostly full time. Still been using the uh, the Pixel 5 because I think we got Android 12 in there, a, a new beta in there, and I've got it attached to the old uh, Galaxy Watch 4. But this has been with me the entire time. So let's talk a little bit about some of those final thoughts I just uh, I just promised you. So the first thing I think there is to talk about is uh, build, design, just the general feel. I, I mean, obviously. It's a Pixel A series. It looks almost identical to the Pixel 4A and 4A 5G. It even looks, you know, quite a bit like the old Pixel 5, just a little bit smaller, not this cool texture on the back. Um, and it's it's not it's not just black. It's the color is actually almost black or something. And it definitely has sort of a grayish color to it versus this, which again is black. So, anyways, um. It's plastic, you know, it's got the fingerprint reader in the right spot. You guys are familiar with this camera housing. You got the Google logo um, on this side. You have your volume and power switch and the power switch kind of has this like nice little sort of rigidity to it. So you can really, really find it um, in hand. It feels like a Google Pixel phone, especially a 4A device headphone jack up there. I, I mean, there's not a lot to uh, to add if you've read or held or used or read about, um, you know, a 4A device, this very much is a slightly, ever so slightly bigger Pixel 4A 5G. So um, a no nonsense phone, not super heavy, not super light, not ginormous because it has a 6.3 inch display, but it's also not a small phone. I mean, you know, I mentioned this earlier that this Pixel 5 to me with its six inch display and this size of body feels about like the perfect phone um, in terms of size and this thing is it's you know it it looks substantially bigger and you notice it coming from this phone if you're using like a galaxy s21 or something you're probably not going to notice it so anyway uh it's it's pretty basic doesn't feel super premium also doesn't feel super cheap if that makes sense okay so well i basically just described that this is mostly just a pixel 4a 5g so what's different um in, in my unboxing i talked a little bit about this uh larger battery slightly bigger display ip67 water resistance for the first time in an a series and i mean that that's it from the 4a 5g to this that that's it bigger battery slightly bigger display and water and dust resistance so oh in the color it's not just black again it's almost black or something like that so the the processor is the same snapdragon 765g which we had last year six gig ram 128 gig storage same camera with the 12 megapixel uh normal shooter or regular shooter and then the 16 megapixel widening i mean 
it is all of the stuff is the same outside of those those three things. So uh, let's start then with the battery, right? So you guys are probably going, all right, well, has a bigger battery. It doesn't make a difference. Um, so we went from 3,800 milliamp hour battery in the old one, the 4A 5G, um, to a 4680 milliamp hour battery in this. So we're talking almost 1,000 milliamps of extra juice that should mean significant jump. Um, and the 4A5G, if, if you've read our review, Tim had pretty pretty excellent battery life there. So you would assume you would get it here. And here's the thing, just being honest with you, my battery life has been good and I have no worries. Unfortunately, I use the Eufy security app because I swapped out all my Nest cameras around my house and started using Eufy stuff because there was just a couple of products I like better. The Eufy app is... While a good app, it has a battery drain issue. And so when I flip open battery here in a second, you'll see what I'm talking about. So if I go into my battery stats section, you'll notice I've got an hour screen on time today. The battery life's going pretty well today. But if I go into battery usage, you see that my ambient display is using a lot because I haven't used the phone a ton today. But look at that right there, Eufy. For some reason, it's just always the top of the list. And in a couple of battery screenshots, which I'll show you right now, you'll notice again, it it is king, 20% UFI secure. And, and you know, if you Google that, you'll find Reddit threads where everyone's complaining about it. So it, it is an issue. So what I'm getting at is I do believe the battery life on this phone is going to be nuts and last a very, 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 very long time. If you don't have that app installed, you can say, you can see my son and I played a lot of Pokemon Go this weekend. It was EV community weekend for those who know. And uh, the battery life was fine. I mean, here it is at tap there. Here it was at 1135 at night. I had lots of hours of screen on time, almost six hours and still 22% left. And that's with that battery drain. If you flip it back a day, again, played a lot with my son. Um, and here's that Eufy draining things. And this one wasn't so great, but I had five hours of screen on time by seven o'clock at nine. I was down to 16%. So what I'm getting at is I don't believe that battery life will be an issue for anyone. I think this will last well over a day. Um, I just had my issue. So anyways, good battery life. Don't install the Eufy security app. Oh, sorry. One other thing there. Uh, the battery has 18 watt uh, or the phone has 18 watt fast charging wired charge. I don't know if we're calling 18 watt fast anymore. Fast charging. Uh, no, no wireless charging. Uh, let's talk display, though. So display is another one of those improved areas or changed areas. So we went from a 6.2 inch display to a 6.34 inch display. The difference there is that is quite minimal. We're still full HD. We're still AMOLED. We are still, well, we're still at 60 Hertz. So no 90 Hertz upgrade. That is unfortunate because we've seen Samsung and OnePlus now release these sort of mid-range devices in this, in this realm of where the Pixel 5a 5G is sitting with 90 Hertz display. So I kind of wish Google would have bumped that up. I know then it kind of puts it right next to the Pixel 5, but come on, the Pixel 5 is going away soon. We got Pixel 6 is coming. It seems like a, a, um, a missed opportunity to go 90 hertz to really get that smoothness. Um, that said, I've used the phone a ton and the 60 hertz hasn't killed me. It's been OK. I mean, I, I you know, I notice it jumping back and forth between a high refresh rate and this, but it, it's been fine. The, the, you know, we've got really great color reproduction on this thing. The brightness is decent. The touch sensitivity is about as good as I've used in a while. Like, this is a nice panel. It's a big, bright panel with good colors, which is kind of what you want. It just doesn't have that sort of next level 90 hertz that, you know, we were sort of hoping. It's uh, it's a good display. I, I've, I've got no complaints other than, you know, I wish things looked just a bit smoother. Now, as far as the IP67 stuff, yay, thumbs up. That I don't, I don't really know what else to say there. Uh, I didn't take it swimming or drop it in a pond or something like that. I'm, you know, I'm taking Google's word for it there. I, they, I don't think they would slap the rating on there if it wasn't. So if anything, the takeaway there is, yay, water resistance. You can get more water on it. And for this level of phone, we don't see that that often. So that's nice. Um, water resistance in an A phone that's under $500. We we love to see that. Okay, so with those uh, change stuff out of the way, what else is there to talk about with the Pixel 5a 5G? Uh, camera, again, we'll throw some pictures up right now. Um, same cameras as the 4a 5G, same, same as the 5, and same processor and same RAM. Um, you should get the same 
results. Uh, that's not a bad thing. The Pixel 4a 5G has an excellent camera, as does the Pixel 5. Both have those cameras from Google that we really, really like. Uh, they're those cameras that you trust. You trust indoors and poor lighting, outdoors and good lighting. You can shoot pictures of the stars with them. I mean, the, Google, even though these cameras are, well, maybe not the, the wide angle, but the, the regular 12 megapixel camera in here, it's kind of old, okay? It is old. And we're finally gonna get a new camera with the Pixel 6, but this is still using the old one. It's totally fine. We trust it, we believe in it, we know its limitations. Video is not gonna be king here, but stills are gonna be pretty good. So, um, you know, it it's a good camera. I, if you buy this phone, you'll 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 have a you'll have a good camera. Now, as far as performance goes, 765G again, 6 gig RAM, 128 gig storage, nothing special going on. It is a snappy little phone. I do I do have zero complaints about um, using it. Again, that touch responsiveness I said is really, really excellent on here. Um, you, I mean, you can see it just tracking really nicely with my finger. It's a it's a snappy, snappy phone. There, there are no issues there. It, maybe the slight hiccup here and there, but that I feel like that's just Android, maybe. Uh, it's been tuned very well. Um, I Yeah, I haven't had to like reboot it a bunch. You know, like my Pixel 5 over here running Android 12 beta, I reboot like twice a day. This thing, I, I honestly don't think I've rebooted in the entire time I've had it. So uh, fingerprint reader is great. The buttons all work if you want to fire up the camera. Sort of quick. I mean, that was not quick at all, but it, it opened the first try. Um, it's... It's fine. The performance is fine. Again, it's a processor we know. We've used a lot. It's good. Starting to quickly run out of topics here. Uh, there, there's not a lot new here. Uh, it's just a lot of the same stuff with just those tiny tweaks I talked about earlier. Um, software. Android 11 on here. Uh, obviously, Android 12 is not on here because Android 12 is only in beta. Once this goes live, probably... Well, today or the 26th, when you can buy this thing, uh, I'm sure you'll just be able to sign up for it. In fact, I could probably try to sign up for the Android 12 uh, beta while we're here on air. Um, either way, Android 11. So we're good there. We know we get monthly security patches for three years. We know we get three years of OS updates because that's what Google delivers till Pixel. Um, we also have Pixel feature drops. So when Google releases those big updates that introduce new features. This will be a part of that. So you'll get new features throughout the life of owning it. And you know, for a $450 phone, that's, that's pretty good. Not only you get monthly, you get OS updates for three years, and you get regular feature drops. So Google's constantly trying to improve their phone. And, and then on top of that, you know, this is Google's experience. So you have an always on display, you've got the weather and the date, and this will change a little bit with with Android 12. We've got that. Um, you know, you can tap to wake, you've got, you know, Google's gestures down here, you've got their pixel launcher, which isn't super customizable, but it's pretty solid. Their look for Android, which again, keeps changing from one OS to the next, but you've got, you know, all those other gestures and stuff built in, even though they're buried, like that double tap on the camera I just showed you, um, tapping to check phone, lifting to check the phone, flipping to sh uh, pressing the power button to get into uh, device controls. Cause remember we do that still in Android. Android 11, I haven't set that up on this phone, sorry. Uh, but also to get to Google Pay, you can uh, turn on the swipe on the fingerprint reader to access. You know, I mean, you know, you guys have seen this stuff. This is this is Android 11 that's been out for, well, a year now. Um, so not a lot, not a lot else to, to say there. Android 11's good. Android 11 is totally fine. Android 12 is awesome, so I cannot wait. And, and again, if you buy this phone, you get Android 12 before anyone outside of, you know, other Pixel users. So again, I, I know kind of short review here. Normally we would do a big written thing, but there's just, I'm just being honest, there's not a lot, a lot to cover here. So what we've got is the Pixel 5a 5G. It costs $450, it comes in this color only. Um, what it feels like is Google knows the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro are coming. And so those are dramatically different approaches to their phones. And they needed like sort of a slight bump or upgrade to, you know, the A series to keep it alive until we get a 6A next year or whatever. And so they went, look, we're not going crazy. We're going to save all the new stuff for the 6. And so let's just tweak this one. Slightly bigger display, slightly bigger battery. We'll throw in the water resistance. And we'll cut 50 bucks off it because we're using all the other old components like the processor and RAM and all that stuff, right? And the camera. So 
that's kind of what you got. You got this phone that probably, I can't imagine it exists for that long uh, and from a sales perspective, but if you buy it, you still get support for three years and all that. So not a bad buy at all. Works on all the major carriers, has sub six, 5G. You can buy from the Google store, also through Google Fi. August 17th, which should be today that you're watching this at first, um, is when pre-orders open and then it hits stores on uh, August 26th. So if you're interested in this phone, I think it'll be a good phone. If you if your budget is, you know, 500 bucks or under, solid, solid phone. I know OnePlus and Samsung are also selling solid phones around this price point, but it's Google and you sort of know what you're getting up here, which is really important. And uh, in here in the software, which is also very, very important. So uh, that is our Pixel 5a 5G uh, review. If you guys have comments, questions, drop those in the comments and we will try to get back to you. We're Joy Life. Peace.